video we had to fetch a list of all the users and now in this video I'm gonna update uh, the profile picture for the user and uh, for this uh, just uh, move to the network folder and inside the user I'm gonna create one more function const uh, create uh, user and this should be an arrow function what it is going to hold a sync function should have it have two columns UUID users like for which user you're gonna update uh, the profile and uh, for image I'm, I'm just asking for image source so uh, I'm gonna use uh, try catch here and if there are any error occur then it will simply return error else it's gonna return await uh, firebase dot uh, database and uh, dot ref and inside ref I have to give uh, the name of our database ref what we are using and plus UID and it pass here this should be a uh, UUID you can say UUID as the params and uh, after that I need to dot uh, update and which field I need to update I need to update uh, profile emails so it should be profile IMG should be equal to IMG source so that's all and uh, I need to export it as well so export this here copy this and uh, move to our index file of network and paste here and paste here as well that's fine now uh, for the container move to the dashboard here I'm gonna use uh, the library react native image speaker for uh, upload the image so just to import use library react native image speaker so here I'm gonna use import uh, image speaker from uh, react native image speaker and since uh, these are unused uh, component remove these now uh, I have to write the function uh, by using that uh, I can open camera gallery and uh, so that uh, I can able to upload the image so uh, for profile I'm gonna use uh, the props here like uh, on uh, edit image tab whenever you press on this icon then uh, it's going to Call a function called it select photo depth. So that's all. Uh, here, now I'm going to define this function select photo tab. Uh, I think uh, I need to write here const select photo tab, and this should an arrow function. It's going to hold an option like const option. Uh, there you can pass the option for image. Uh, so here I'm going to use uh, storage option, and uh, I'm going to use uh, skip backup, and I'm going to pass it to. Also, you can uh, pass uh, image with height here as well. That's all. Now um, I'm going to call my image speaker function. So image speaker dot uh, so image speaker and uh, call the option I had used here option and uh, then after what we got response. This should be an arrow function after open the 
model then uh, you can simply write if uh, response dot uh, did cancel then do something here I'm gonna use uh, simply console uh, dot log user cancel image picker and uh, in case of else if if uh, response dot uh, error if uh, something uh, error occur then uh, I'm going to copy this line again and uh, again simply pass uh, image picker error and uh, by comma response error I can simply print the response error and uh, if everything is fine then I'm going to use else block here and first of all like for base64 I'm gonna use base64 image to store in my database and retrieve here as well so for base64 image I'm going to use a variable for that uh, source and it's equal to this should be data colon image slash uh, jpec uh, semicolon base64 that's all we have to use as a prefix uh, to our image and uh, by here add plus we got uh, response dot data so this it simply convert our image to base 64 then I need to dispatch my loader action here and uh, I have to start loading application start uh, loading start here and after that I need to update user here so update user and now I have my image and also I have UUID so I UUID dot source and it should return a promise but then do this also if there any error occur then simply catch the error error and uh, I'm going to simply uh, stop the lo application loader and alert the error stop inside alert there should be error that's all now inside then if uh, it's a uh, uh, com successfully execute I'm going to set user detail and uh, I'm gonna take the previous user detail using spread operator and I'm, I'm gonna just uh, change it uh, profile mg and uh, profile and img should have value of uh, the source save this one and let's see what happened if I click on this you can see uh, it is asking to choose uh, image from library or camera there you can see I had uploaded the image for test one now let's move to our database I think uh, nothing reflect here uh, I think I need to refresh Also, uh, like if you are using Android or uh, then you need to ask, uh, you need to set the permission for uh, to access the storage. So I think uh, value hasn't update in database, but uh, I'm successfully getting the value if I reload application. Something is wrong there, I think. It's giving a can't 
find variable profile and the reference error can find variable profile img okay where it I'm going to show like uh, can't find variable profile img source it is uh, we have with our user then we are searching based on id then i'm going to update profile img to profile source we have our value here profile img that's it is fine i think and uh, okay that's fine i think okay i don't know uh, what it's uh, doing wrong here if i'm copy this and trying to upload image again take this image now yeah you can see image has been uh, uploaded successfully i think uh, there is uh, some uh, issue like i have to up uh, refresh my application or reload my application due to this uh, there should be some issue here so let's reload this now you can see i had uh, my updated image here and let's see once more check if uh, it changed or not loader has been started It is taking some time to update the uh, profile picture, I think, uh, due to slow internet connectivity. Let me see. reload application once more I think something went uh, wrong here and uh, if I'm as it shows picture from library it is taking time image has been flowed here and uh, if I Copy this one. I'm going to paste here. Press enter. If I do something wrong. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, due to internet uh, connectivity, I think it's uh, take uh, much time uh, to communicate with the. Uh, database yeah that's uh, taking a lot of time uh, but uh, our image has been brought I think successfully if I move to this let's uh, try to upload the image for test 2 uh, I'm gonna sign with the test 20 at the rate gmail.com and one two three four five six there you can see test one has the updated image it's successfully fetching and uh, if uh, I'm gonna upload this image to test 2 image has been uploaded here but uh, this is not reflecting to database I don't see what's wrong with it reload this one
yeah like uh, it's taking time um, to upload image you can see like uh, our image has uploaded here uh, due to slow internet uh, I think uh, uh, it's take some time so if you are using a good net network connectivity then uh, you can uh, email able to upload images just uh, two or three second maximum it take so there you can see uh, it's uh, reflecting so that's all for this video and in next video we'll uh, gonna import uh, uh, we're gonna use like uh, when, when we're gonna click on any profile picture of uh, any user then we'll able to you mean able to see, uh, see user full image also uh, like if you are using the Android then uh, you're gonna you have to go to Android app SRC and uh, inside your main folder you have manifest XML and if you are Android user then you had to ask uh, uh, give the permission for camera and uh, write external storage so copy this and uh, move to Android app uh, SRC main manifest XML uh, simply paste this line here that's uh, all and uh, give me a second you can uh, simply I'm going to for uh, this one so you can uh, simply just set the permission like whenever you, you're gonna access uh, your gallery it will simply ask you to permission and uh, when you allow it, it you can it's able to open your camera or uh, open your gal gallery so that's all for this video